Hello everyone. Today, I will show you a quick installation and usage video of the KHF series column meter. Firstly, let's take a look at the sampler of the KHF column meter. The upper and lower covers of the sampler are connected by buckles. We can open the case of the sampler and see the bat and load markings on the sampler's PCB board. The bat. Copper screw corresponds to the negative pole of the battery. The negative pole of the battery itself has a wire connected to the negative pole of the charger and load. We use a wrench to loosen the screw on the load end and use a screwdriver to loosen the wire of the battery negative pole. Then connect it to the load copper screw on the sampler. We prepare another wire and connect it from the bat copper screw of the sampler to the negative pole of the battery in actual use. A wire that can withstand the working current of the battery should be selected. The video is for demonstration only. This way, we can see that when the battery is discharging, the current flows from the negative pole of the battery to bat of the sampler then to load and finally to the negative pole of the load when the battery is charging the current flows from the negative pole of the charger to load of the sampler then to bat and finally to the negative pole of the battery then close the casing of the sampler and the wiring of the sampler is done next we open the self-sealing bag of accessories take out the parts and find the 4p ribbon cable which is used to connect the measuring module and the sampler. Then, let's connect the positive pole of the battery. Find the green 3P connector and plug it into the measuring module. Take a 18 AWG to 13 AWG wire and connect it to the VSNS port of the measuring module. And connect the other end to the positive pole of the battery. After connecting, the indicator light of the measuring module starts flashing, indicating that the instrument has started running. Find the 5 meter 4P communication cable to connect the display module and the measuring module. As you can see, the screen of the display module has lit up. Connect the temperature sensor to the temperature sensor interface of the measuring module. At this point, there is still one 3P ribbon cable left in the accessories, which is used to connect external power to the relay wiring. It is generally not needed if you need to control the relay. You can watch the video of connecting external power to the relay wiring. Let's summarize the overall wiring. The display screen is connected to the sampler's RS485 display interface via a 4P communication cable. The measurement module is connected to the sampler via a 4P ribbon cable. The temperature sensor is connected to the temperature sensor interface on the measurement module. The sampler is connected in series in the negative line of the battery, load, and charger. Finally, we will show you how to set the preset battery capacity and remaining battery percentage correctly. If the effective capacity of the battery is unknown or you do not know the current remaining capacity, follow these steps to check. Discharge the battery pack until it is completely empty or until you no longer want to discharge it. Enter the system settings and set the preset battery capacity. For example, if the rated capacity of the battery is 25, ah, we will set 25 as the preset battery capacity you can check the rated capacity on the battery nameplate or consult the battery manufacturer. Set the remaining capacity percentage to 0% and then charge the battery pack. After it is fully charged, 
Check the displayed remaining battery capacity value of 23.5 on the display and set the remaining capacity value of 23.5 on to the preset battery capacity. In this way, the preset battery capacity and remaining battery percentage are set and completed. Then let's take a look at the charging and discharging state of the KHF column meter. During charging, the current color is green and the remaining capacity and percentage of the battery capacity both increase. The estimated time indicates how much time is needed to fully charge the battery. During discharging, the current color is blue, and the remaining capacity and percentage of the battery capacity both decrease. The estimated time indicates how much time is needed to fully discharge the battery. Thank you for watching.